geometric or neither of those um, arithmetic sequences, um, we'll be adding the same number as the sequence gets larger. So there will be a common difference as you go through this. I they say find the common difference D if it's arithmetic. Geometric means it's getting larger or smaller by being multiplied by some ratio or some number. So if it's geometric, we'll have a ratio. So I can quickly give you an example of each of those. Um, arithmetic would be like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And you can see that what we're doing each time is adding 2. Okay. So this is arithmetic because the sequence, there's something is being added, or you can be subtracting something, that same number every time. And this would be have a difference of 2. That's the change that's happening. Uh, geometric, on the other hand, an example of that would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay, and you can see that what we've done here is we started with 1 and we multiplied by 2, and then we multiplied by 2, and then we multiplied by 2, and the sequence would continue in that matter. This is geometric because it's being multiplied by the same number, um, so the same sequence continues. And so our R here would be 2 because that's what we're multiplying by each time. Now, in these questions where it's asking you to determine if it's arithmetic, geometric, or neither, what you want to do is look at the terms in the sequence. If they're um, changing by this, a number being either added or subtracted to each term, there would be arithmetic. If they're changing by um, something being multiplied by each term, it's geometric. And if it doesn't follow either of those patterns, then it would be neither. So let's try this. <clears throat> Here is a sequence for n plus 1. So right away, I notice what's happening is I'm taking a number, multiplying it by 4, and adding 1. So right away, I suspect it might be geometric because I'm multiplying by 4. But let's go ahead and write out a few terms for this sequence just to make sure. So these numbers at the end, this means we're going to start with n equals 1, and we can go up through infinity. So let's say n is 1. Well, if n is 1, we'd have 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So our first term would be 5. Then the next number would be 2. So 4 times 2 would be 8, plus 1 is 9. And see, and you don't have to do this, but it's a good way to check if you're unsure what type you have. We go to 3. 4 times 3 would be 12, plus 1 is 13. And... And the next one, we have uh, 4. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So let's see what's happening here. And like I said, um, you may have suspected at first that this would be geometric because you were multiplying by 4. But notice we added 1, which kind of changed things a bit for us. We weren't. <clears throat> so we go from 5 to 9. Notice there's a difference of 4 between 5 and 9. And from 9 to 13, there's a difference of 4 once again. And from 13 to 17, there's a difference of 4. So what ends up happening is we're adding 4 more each time because this number n is going up. So this is arithmetic. Okay, so make sure you try them out. Looks can be deceiving. And this is arithmetic. Um, the difference between each term is 4 because we are adding for to get to the next term. Okay, here's another example. Um, 2 times 3 to the n minus 1. We start where n is 1, and we can go up to infinity. Okay, so you might have your suspicions as you look at this as to what type it might be. Let's try out a few terms. So again, we're starting with n is 1. So we just plug that in right here. 1 minus 1 would be 0. 3 to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is 1. So we end up with 2 times 1, which is 2. If n is 2, we get 2 minus 1 is 1. So 3 to the first power is 3, and then times 2 would give us 6. If our 
n is 3. Go up to the next term. 3 minus 1 gives us 2 here. So 3 to the second power is 9 times 2 is 18. And let's go one more just to make sure we have a good pattern here. If n is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 to the third power is 27. 27 times 2 is 54. Okay, so what's happening as we look at this pattern of our terms? Well, 2, if we tried to add, 2 plus 4 would give us 6. Um, but if we add 4 to 6, we don't end up with 18. So we know it's not arithmetic because we can't add the same number as we continue down. Let's try um, geometric. So 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Is 6 times 3 18? It is. Is 18 times 3 54? It is. Okay. So it looks like this is geometric because to progress, we could just multiply by each three by three to get to the next term, and our r is three, or the ratio we're multiplying by. All right, so we're asked to determine whether the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. Um, if it's arithmetic, we find the common difference, and geometric, we find the ratio we're multiplying each time. So let's take a look at this sequence. You may be able to tell from looking at it what it's going to be. Um, but let's take a look. Let's substitute the values in and start to see what this looks like. Um, we're asked to do for n greater than or equal to 1. So a sub n, we're going to start at n being 1. Well, if n is 1, that gives us 1 to the third plus 2 times 1 squared minus 1. 1 to the third is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. And then we have that minus 1. So 1 plus 2 minus 1 gives me 2. So my first term is going to be 2. Okay, let's go up 1. Um, so we started with n being 1. Now let's do for n being 2. I'm going to draw a line here to separate it. So we would have 2 to the third plus 2 times 2 squared. Everywhere there's an n, I'm replacing it with a 2. Um, 2 to the third power is 8 plus 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 minus 1. 8 plus 8 is 16, minus 1 gives me 15. So my second term is 15. Let's go to the next term. So we did 1 and 2. Now let's do when n is 3. I'm going to do it over here. So I replace all my n's with a 3. That gives me 3 to the third plus 2 times 3 squared minus 1. Put 3's here and here. 3 to the third power is 27 plus 2 times 3 squared is 9, and 9 times 2 is 18. So I have 27 plus 18 minus 1, which gives me 44. So the next term in my sequence is 44. Now I could continue if I wanted to. Let's do one more. So if n is 4, I replace my n's with 4. Okay, I'll do it over here. Give me 4 to the 3rd plus 2 times 4 squared minus 1. 4 to the 3rd power is 64. 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 minus 1. Gives me 95. Okay, And so we take a look and we say, okay, is this going to be arithmetic, geometric, or neither? For it to be arithmetic, we would have to get... To from 1 to the other by adding the same number each time. Well, to get from 2 to 15, you would have to add 13. If we add 13 to 15 and continue that, we would get 28 and not 44. So it's definitely not arithmetic. We can't add that same number over and over. Okay. The next option is geometric. For geometric, you try to see what you would multiply by each time. Well, to get 2 to be equal to 15, what would we have to multiply by? Well, we'd have to multiply by 15 halves. 2 times 15 halves would give me 15. If we multiply by that again, if I multiply 15 
by 15 halves. I get 112 and a half, which is definitely not 44. So this is not geometric and it's not arithmetic. Okay, this one comes out as being neither. Okay, this doesn't give us the formula, it just has it written out. Um, so let's just compare. Um, it looks like we are having a change in the denominator here. So we go from 5 to 15 in the denominator to 45. Um, adding fractions, we'd have to get common denominators matched, which would probably change our numerators. So my guess would be it's not arithmetic. So let's try geometric first. So to get this to be from 5 to 15, if we multiplied by 3, or 1 third in this case, that would give me 1 15. Let's try that for the next term. If I multiply 1 15 by 1 third, I get 1 45th. Very good. What if I multiply that by 1 third? 45 times 3 is 135, and still over 1, just because of how uh, multiplication of fractions works. So this is a geometric sequence, because I am multiplying by 1 third to get to the next term every time it's following that pattern. Okay, this one is 2, 212, 2,121. You can see we do have a pattern here. We have 2 and then 2, 1, 2, and then 2, 1, 2, 1. It seems we're just kind of adding to the pattern. But if we tried to do arithmetic, um, we would have to add 210 to get 212. If we tried adding 210 the next time, we're definitely not going to get 2,000. So I know it's not arithmetic. If we try multiplication, 2 times 106 would give me 212. If I take 212 times 106, I do not get that next term. So this doesn't follow the pattern of arithmetic, where we add or subtract the number to continue the pattern, or geometric, where we multiply by something to complete the pattern. So this is neither. Here's another sequence, 20, 13, 6, negative 1. So let's try each one. Let's try arithmetic. So to get from 20 to 13, we would have to subtract 7. Let's try doing that again. Is 13 minus 7 equal to 6? It is. Um, let's try one more time. Is 6 minus 7 negative 1? It is. Okay, so the change was a subtraction of 7 as we went down the line. So this is arithmetic. Okay, and our difference here is negative 7 because we were subtracting 7. All right, here's the last one. Is this, what type of sequence do we have here? Well, let's try it out. So let's try adding. Okay, to get from 3 to 12, um, we would have to add 9. If we add 9, do we get 48? So 12 plus 9, no. Do something like 21. It doesn't give me 48. So I know I'm not adding or subtracting. Um, let's try multiplication. 3 times what would give us 12? Well, 3 times 4. Okay, so if we try to multiply 12 times 4, does that give us the next part of our sequence? It does. 12 times 4 is 48. What if we take 48 times 4? We get 192. So it appears this is geometric because we are getting the next term by multiplying by the ratio of 4.